Ben and Angela, a Nigerian couple hoping to build a better life in Britain, welcomed a surprise into their family. Their newborn daughter, Nmachi, arrived with startlingly light skin compared to her parents and two older siblings. This unexpected gift brought wonder and confusion in equal measure. Before we embark on this captivating journey, we kindly invite you to show your support by engaging with our content. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a thoughtful comment stating, I've subscribed. Additionally, if you find this story as inspiring as we do, don't forget to share it with your loved ones. Your support means the world to us. Inmachi's arrival sparked medical curiosity. While rare, instances of couples with mixed ancestry producing a child with different skin tones existed. Yet, Ben and Angela had no known mixed race heritage. Intrigued by this unique mystery, they embarked on a journey to understand their family histories and unravel the genetic puzzle that led to Enmachi's unique beauty. Through genetic testing and family research, Ben and Angela sought not just answers, but also affirmation of their bond with Enmachi. The focus shifted from questioning paternity to cherishing the miracle of their daughter's life and celebrating the beautiful diversity of human genetics. Desperate for answers, Ben and Angela reached out to family members, tracing their lineages as far back as possible. They hoped to uncover a hidden thread of mixed ancestry that might explain their daughter and Machi's unique appearance. However, both sides of the family confirmed no known instances of mixed race relationships in their history. Faced with this apparent dead end, the family returned home with Enmachi, their hearts heavy with unanswered questions. The hospital, reassured by extensive tests confirming Enmachi's overall health, promised to continue their investigation for a factual and scientific explanation. Doctors initially considered albinism, a possible explanation for Enmachi's unique appearance. This news sparked curiosity and confusion among the family, including Enmachi's siblings, who were naturally surprised by their new sister's different skin tone. As the situation was unusual, questions arose, and some people unfortunately resorted to hurtful speculations. Whispers and assumptions about Angela's fidelity spread, causing distress and pain. Thankfully, Ben stood firmly by his wife, unwavering in his support and trust. The family was determined to find answers, not to appease rumors, but to understand this unique occurrence and celebrate Enmachi's arrival. They embarked on a journey of exploration, seeking medical expertise and genetic understanding, not justifications or explanations for others. Ben knew with certainty that Enmachi was his daughter. He and Angela had been together since childhood, and their bond was unwavering. The idea of infidelity never crossed his mind. While he understood the possibility of mixed ancestry expressing differently, he recognized the uniqueness of their situation. And Machi's arrival sparked a desire for scientific understanding, not to confirm suspicions, but to celebrate her and explore the wonder of genetics. Although Ben's mother had a lighter skin tone, it didn't fully explain in Machi's appearance. Fortunately, the medical community shared the family's curiosity and actively sought a factual explanation. This collaborative effort aimed to unravel the mystery surrounding Enmachi's unique beauty, not to validate assumptions or stereotypes. Doctors determined that Enmachi's appearance wasn't due to albinism. Her skin tone, bright blue eyes, and vibrant blonde hair didn't match the typical characteristics of the condition. While rare, cases of albinism often involve visual impairments and very light-colored eyes. Machi's health and vibrant features pointed towards a different explanation. Angela and Ben, familiar with albinism from their experiences in Nigeria, recognized that Enmachi didn't share those traits. Further reassurance came from her overall health, unlike individuals with albinism who sometimes face additional medical challenges. This unique situation sparked curiosity in both the family and medical experts. Renowned geneticists proposed two possibilities to explain Enmachi's unexpected skin tone. One involved ancestral racial mixing, though less likely in Nigeria. The other pointed toward a possible genetic mutation passed down through generations, only now expressed in Inmachi. However, both options lacked definite proof. Understanding skin color involves complex genetics determining melanin production in each cell. This creates the diverse range of human skin tones, also known as genotypes. While melanin levels typically influence family resemblance, Enmachi's case presented a unique puzzle. Doctors explored previous similar cases to gather clues, acknowledging that predictions wouldn't guarantee the full picture. They also mentioned the possibility of Enmachi's skin tone changing slightly as she develops. 
As doctors investigated Inmachi's unique appearance, life continued for the Ehebo family. They integrated their precious daughter into their world, facing public curiosity along the way. Angela acknowledged that in an era of diverse families, seeing a white child with black parents shouldn't be surprising. Yet their situation drew stares and questions. While some openly admired Inmachi's beauty, others avoided discussing her obvious difference. Some, unable to contain their curiosity, approached the family directly, asking about Inmachi's parentage. Angela's response that Inmachi was biologically theirs often met with initial disbelief and laughter, followed by shocked acceptance. Despite ongoing questions about Inmachi's appearance, the Ehebo family knew it was time to embrace their new reality. Their older children and extended family were gradually welcoming and loving their newest member. Ultimately, Inmachi was just another child, experiencing the usual joys and challenges of early life. Her unique skin tone didn't affect her need for love, care, and a happy family environment. After nearly a year, the family decided to shift their focus. Instead of dwelling on societal expectations or feeling pressure to normalize their situation, they chose to celebrate Nmachi for who she was, a beautiful, healthy, and loved member of their family. The Ehebo family shifted their focus to nurturing Nmachi's personality and fostering strong bonds with her siblings. They wanted her to grow up confident and loved, free from labels or harmful perceptions. Their goal was to create a supportive environment where every child felt equally valued and cherished. Instead of seeking external explanations, the family chose to focus on building their own reality, centered around love and acceptance. They embraced Inmachi as an integral part of their family, cherishing her unique individuality without seeking to erase or diminish it. As the first year with Inmachi drew to a close, Ben cradled his sleeping daughter on the balcony. As her golden hair tickled his chest, a deep sense of gratitude washed over him. He had a strong marriage, a fulfilling job, a secure home, and three healthy, cherished children. Life felt complete. The sound of Ben's quiet tears startled Angela. Seeing his emotion, she held him close, joining him in a few tears of their own. They couldn't help but recognize their unique family's extraordinary beauty. Amidst the challenges many families face, the Ahebos found their own path to happiness. They decided to limit their social media presence choosing to nurture their joy internally rather than seeking external validation. Their happiness flowed from within, fueled by love and their unique bond. The story of Inmachi and her family reminds us that families come in all shapes and sizes, and that's something to celebrate. While understanding genetics can be fascinating, it's important to remember that focusing solely on physical differences can be insensitive and overshadow the true beauty of this family's love and bond. Instead of speculating about causes, Let's use this opportunity to discuss how we can foster acceptance and understanding in our communities. How can we create spaces where everyone feels valued and respected, regardless of their appearance or family background? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below, but remember to keep the conversation kind and respectful. We all have a role to play in building a more inclusive world.